Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Displace 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. We've got a little setup. We've got our camera. We've got a ambient light, a spotlight into a 3D merge and a render node. And I've got uh, some footage in here. And let's look at that. And it's just of a uh, somebody swimming in the water. And what we want to do is we want to add a little displacement to this in the 3D environment to make it look like uh, she's in the water a little more. So we're going to bring in first an image plane so we can get this uh, image in the 3D world. So we'll bring in an image plane and input that into our image plane and this into our merge node. And let's go ahead and set up our image plane. Let's get it back there. Let's get it back in the Z distance. So now we can go to our render node and kind of fit it in. So it's covering our uh, 3D area. There we go. So now we have a 3D image of our uh, media file. And just know our ambient light right here, we got cranked because if we uh, turn it down, we're not going to see our image. So if you turn it up to 100, you're going to see 100% of it. So let's go ahead and displace this. So we're going to add a displace node. Displace 3D node. And input it into our uh, footage. Now what this is going to do is your displace node displaces the vertices of any object. So it's changing your, uh, your normals and everything. So it's displacing your normals. So basically it's taking the normals from this image plane because there are no normals in our footage. It's taking the normals from our image plane and it's gonna displace them. And if you remember right, if we go to our uh, little 3D node here, and if we looked at our image plane and we go down to our normals, Remember, these are our normals. So what this is going to do is going to displace it depending on what we input into this green input. So let's go ahead and add a fast noise. And let's set up our fast noise. It will give it a little more detail. And this contrast is really going to determine how much your uh, normals are displaced. So we're going to leave that down and let's go ahead and keyframe our seethe. Let's give this a uh, 1.5, 1.5. So a little fast for water, but that's fine. Let's uh, change our scale up a little bit. So now if I take this and input this into our displace node, actually, let me undo that. Let's view our render. And if I input this into our displace node, you can see that just displaced our actual. If we look at our 3D here, you can see it just displaced our image plane. So it's all bumpy and crazy. So if we go to our displace node, we can select what channel is being affected. And since we have a uh, Luma in here, we can use that, but we can also use our red, green, blue, our alpha, our Z, our RGB, and our position. And we're gonna go ahead and leave it on Luma. And the scale just changes the scale of that displacement. So if we look back here, can see we're changing the scale of the displacement and your bias will just change the offset of that entire uh, displacement note now down here we have camera displacement and 
right here, if we check always point towards camera, we're really not going to see anything because this is looking for normals within our Z depth. And since one, we're not using any channels with the Z depth information. And our info here really doesn't have Z depth information. It's really not going to always point towards camera. So if I turn this off so we can look at our render and I select this point towards camera, you can see we're, we're getting errors. And uh, I honestly have never been able to actually get this point towards camera to do anything uh, productive for me anyway. So I honestly never use point towards camera. So we can go up and uh, dial in our scale a little bit so it's not so uh, crazy. And there we go. We've got a little displacement on our image. Now this works with other things as well, your normal geometry. So we can uh, disconnect this. Let's move this out the way and let's grab another shape. And let's do a sphere. Bring that in. Let's bring our sphere back. So it's in a manageable location. All right. Let's go ahead and change our color. There we go. And let's actually bump our ambient light down so it's not so bright. And we're going to use our spotlight, but our spotlight, we're going to take our spotlight and we're going to connect it to our shape so we know it's on top of it. Go ahead and bring it up. Let's look in our render node there. Oh, we should probably turn our spotlight on. And let's bring our shape back a little further. There we go. So if I play this, you can see that fast noise is affecting the normals of our little shape. And if we go to our fast noise, we can look at our contrasted brightness. And if we actually alter the way that looks, so let's stop playing it. So you can see as we change our contrast, or we change our brightness, it's changing the look of our little uh, sphere there. You can make it crazy. There we go. So that is the Displace 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.